Water is our most precious natural resource. From the fresh water flowing through creeks and rivers to the briny depths of the oceans that cover 70% of the Earth's surface, water is an element that none of us can live without. The ocean is nature's vast storehouse. For millions of years it has provided food for land and marine based inhabitants, a habitat for over 80% of the world's known species, and the vast majority of oxygen in the air that we breathe. All rivers, creeks and waterways eventually run to the sea, and with them go the nutrients and sediments that fuel the rich soup in which life first began. Unfortunately, over the past five decades, these waterways have also carried a much deadlier cargo. Australia has some of the most pristine waters on the globe, home to an astounding 11% of the world's marine species. But the increasing amount of plastic and other debris and pollution threatens our marine ecosystems and the existence of every species that rely on them, including humans. In the last 50 years, the advent of plastic and other technologies, together with an unprecedented growth in global population, has led humans to generate an incomprehensible amount of rubbish. Recent research, sadly, indicates that there is now a greater concentration of plastic particles in the sea surface layer than plankton, which is one of the most vital resources on the planet the world's oceans are in crisis. In the water itself, it's quite often hard to um, see plastic because a lot of it's very small. It's, it's, we're talking plankton size. Plastic breaks down to a point where it's, it's so small you don't really notice it in the water. We've taken a net and scooped the water and there is plastic out there. We get a lot of plastic washed up on the beaches. I do a lot of clearing off the beaches at times. So there's a lot of rubbish out there. The impact of marine debris on the ocean and its ecological communities, including many endangered species, has been ringing alarm bells with scientists and wildlife organisations, such as Australian Seabird Rescue, for many years. Species such as turtles, seabirds, shorebirds, cetaceans, pinnipeds, sharks, rays, and many others do not expect to encounter plastic in the oceans or in their food chain. As a result, many species mistake plastic for food. Some seabirds even regurgitate it for their chicks, which has a profound effect on their ability to survive and consequently on the survival of their species. For wildlife, some of the most devastating effects of marine debris occur through either ingestion or entanglement, which are believed to be responsible for the death of hundreds of thousands of marine animals every year. But the story of plastic doesn't stop there. The idea that plastics biodegrade or can be biodegradable is a bit of a misnomer. Those materials that those plastics are made of persist in the environment, whether they're in a solid form of a bag or in the size of a blood cell plastic is still in the environment and being ingested and entering our food chain. We need to be very conscious about these chemicals and the role that they play in our ecology. And we're finding fish around the world, reports of them eating this plastic. So we are eating our trash. So it's important to us to understand this issue and put an end to this plastic plague in our ocean. While the outlook for marine wildlife and the world's oceans may look grim, there is still time to act. Saying no to plastic bags is just the beginning. Take a look at all the products you use and buy every day. The coal, oil, water or other resources that are used to make every consumer or industrial item are not renewable. They were created during four billion years of the Earth's incredible evolution. By reducing, reusing and recycling, by choosing products that are local, have little or no packaging or alternative forms of packaging, you're already on the right track. Make your environment one that you and marine wildlife can live with, not just today or tomorrow, but for the future. You can help to turn the tide. 
by killing plastic, not wildlife. <laughs> 